On my memo tonight, I focus on the COVID-19 containment measures and their enforcement. This is after what transpired along various roads across the city over the weekend. As I start, it is important to note that there are bad manners on both ends, and I would like to do a memo jointly addressed to citizens for their bad manners and police officers for a violent overreaction. This is the context. Over the weekend, police officers blocked entire sections of Thicker Road, including the service lane, as they enforced curfew laws. This caused a massive gridlock that extended for more than a kilometer and lasted for over four hours. Those who had curfew permits were also caught up in the melee, including ambulances, doctors, families taking their sick to the hospital, KCSC candidates traveling from school, as well as journalists who were not allowed to move. But of course, there were also those, many of them, who were on the roads after curfew without any good reason. Illegally, that is. I'll focus on them shortly. But first, we witnessed an old habit rearing its ugly head again. An element of police brutality that brought back memories of the first days of the lockdown last year. And of practical concern on the roads was a simple question of logic. For example, ambulances have to reach their destinations and people who are sick being taken to hospital should be facilitated to go for treatment. Other essential services are so designated for a reason. Many wondered why there was no proper planning before the police descended on the roads and on unsuspecting Kenyans. At one point, ambulance drivers caught up in the traffic jam had to beg police officers to allow them to pass through. A mother with a sick baby was also stranded as she helplessly rocked her child. They were held there for over two hours before finally being allowed to continue with their journey. Shortly after 11 p.m., the officers suddenly left. But on Sunday night, they were at it again. This time, they lit bonfires and blocked motorists, causing traffic snarl-ups stretching to as far as the eye can see. Such scenes were witnessed in other areas in the city, including Langata Road, Junction Mall, Two Rivers Mall, and Kayole, amongst others. Granted, police play an important role in the enforcement of COVID-19 movement restrictions and are important in protecting citizens who follow the law and also catching those who are breaking them. But it would have been better for all if such actions were better planned, instead of creating the confusion that was witnessed, as well as meting out collective punishment for even those who did not break any laws. However, this bad manners was not only on the part of the police. One would ask, what were all those motorists doing on the road at that hour? Did they not know there was a curfew? Everyone knows the directives to curb the spread of the disease include a curfew from 8 p.m., to 4 a.m., restrictions on gatherings, both private and public, closure of bars and restaurants, as well as places of worship. We are all aware of these directives. No one can claim ignorance on this. Tuambiane Ukweli. This is why not everyone who was caught on the road can stand up and say they were outside legitimately and not just flouting the rules. In fact, without these particular people, there perhaps would not have been a traffic slant up on those roads. So in the words of a local language here in Kenya, we must blame both the chicken and the mongoose. We must ask why could the mongoose dare eat the chicken? But then again, what was the chicken doing outside? That is my memo. <laughs>